are you trying to get back into reading this year? If you're looking for works of fiction that you could read in one day, you should consider reading novellas. A novella is a type of prose fiction that is longer than a short story, but shorter than a novel. It typically ranges from 17,500 to 40,000 words, although this can vary depending on the author and the publisher. Novellas are often characterized by their complexity and depth of characterization, as well as their ability to create a complete and satisfying story within a shorter length than a novel. Novellas often explore a single incident or a set of related incidents and are a good way for authors to experiment with style or a new idea. They allow for a more detailed and complex exploration of a theme or character than a short story, but lack the breadth and scope of a full-length novel. They usually also have a single plot line that is resolved throughout the story, and they often center on a single character or a small group of characters. Many novellas can be read in one day, depending on your reading speed and the amount of time you have available. Here is my list of some great shorter novels that are quick and easy to read. At number one, The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. The Old Man and the Sea is a novella by the American writer Ernest Hemingway and published in 1952. It tells the story of an aging Cuban fisherman, Santiago, who has gone 84 days without catching a fish. Despite his unlucky streak, Santiago continues to set out to sea each day in his small skiff. On the 85th day, he hooks a giant marlin, which he fights for two days before finally reeling it in. However, sharks attack the marlin and Santiago returns to shore with only the marlin skeleton. The Old Man and the Sea is a story of courage, determination and the human spirit. Santiago is a sympathetic and admirable character and his struggle with the marlin is a powerful metaphor for the human condition. This novella is also a representation of the coat hero ideal that Hemingway believed in, an ideal that emphasizes grace under pressure, self-control, and courage in the face of adversity. The Old Man and the Sea received critical acclaim upon its publication and was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1953. It is also considered one of Hemingway's most important works, and it contributed to his winning the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1954. This novella is considered a classic of American literature and can be enjoyed by readers of all ages. If you haven't read it yet, it is a quick but powerful read that can be finished in one day and it is one of the great works of the 20th century. At number two, The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. The Metamorphosis is a novella written by the German-speaking Czech author Franz Kafka and published in 1915. It is one of Kafka's most famous and widely read works. The story is about a salesman named Gregor Samsa who wakes up one morning to find that he has been transformed into a giant insect. The novel is a first-person narrative that details his struggles to adjust to his new form, which includes the alienation from his family and society. The story deals with themes of existentialism and absurdity as Gregor tries to make sense of his transformation and his relationship with his family and society. The novel also deals with the theme of isolation. Gregor's isolation is not only physical, but also emotional and social as he becomes unable to communicate with his family and his physical change also causes them to see him as a burden. Kafka's writing is known for its surreal and symbolic elements and the metamorphosis is a masterful example of this. Kafka's writing is also known to reflect the author's own psyche and his personal experience. The metamorphosis can be thus interpreted as an allegory of the human condition in which individuals are transformed by society into something they are not. It's a short but powerful story and will leave a lasting impression on the reader. It's a quick read, but one that will linger in your thoughts long after you've finished it. It is also a great introduction to Kafka's works and the genre of existential fiction. At number three, The Death of Ivan Illich by Leo Tolstoy. The Death of Ivan Illich is a novella written by the Russian author Leo Tolstoy and published in 1886. The story is about the life and death of a high court judge, Ivan Illich Galavin, who had led a relatively unremarkable and ordinary life, but as he approaches his death, he begins to question the meaning and purpose of his life. This novel explores the theme of death and the meaning of life in a very real and raw way, and it is widely considered to be one of the greatest novellas ever written. 
Ivan Illich's deathbed reflections force us to consider our own lives and question our values. The novel also explores social hypocrisy, the emptiness of materialistic and superficial life, and the nature of suffering. Tolstoy's writing is known for its psychological and moral insights, and the death of Ivan Illich is a perfect example of this. He masterfully portrays the inner struggle of Ivan Illich as he comes to terms with his own mortality. And the novel is both a powerful meditation on death and a profound exploration of the human condition. The novel is a quick read, but one that will stay with you for a long time. It's a great introduction to Tolstoy's work and a classic of Russian literature. It is a story of the human condition, death, and the human search for meaning and still resonates with readers today. At number four, Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. Heart of Darkness is a novella written by the Polish-British author Joseph Conrad, published in 1899. The story is set in the late 19th century and follows the journey of Charles Marlowe, an English sailor, as he travels up the Congo River to serve as the captain of a Belgium trading post. The book tells of his journey up the Congo and his growing realization of the true nature of European imperialism and the cruel exploitation of the Congo and its people by Belgian traders. The novel is a powerful and haunting exploration of the nature of imperialism and the darkness that lies at the heart of human nature. Through the character of Kurtz, a highly respected and successful agent of the Belgian trading company, Conrad portrays the corruption and depravity that result from the pursuit of power and material gain. He also exposes the moral and psychological consequences of imperialism to both the colonizers and the colonized. The novel is written in a distinct style that is known for its symbolic and allegorical elements. The story is rich in imagery and motifs. Conrad's writing is known for its complexity and it's often described as a nightmare vision of colonialism. Heart of Darkness is considered one of the greatest works of fiction of the 20th century and it is a powerful critique of imperialism and the human condition. It is also a critique of the effects of globalization and imperialism of the time. It's a quick read, but one that will leave a lasting impression. And it is often studied in literary classes, and um, it is considered also a classic of English literature. At number five, The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gelman. Some people consider The Yellow Wallpaper a short story. Some people consider it a novella. In any case, it was written by the American writer Charlotte Perkins Gilman. It was first published in 1892. The story is a first-person narrative of a woman who is suffering from postpartum depression and is prescribed a rest cure by her physician husband. The story details the woman's descent into madness as a result of her confinement to a room with yellow wallpaper, which she becomes obsessed with. The Yellow Wallpaper is a powerful critique of the patriarchal society and the treatment of women's mental health during the 19th century. It highlights how women were marginalized and their voices were dismissed and not taken seriously. The protagonist's gradual descent into madness is a metaphor for how women were forced to repress their thoughts and feelings and the consequences of this repression. The Yellow Wallpaper is an early feminist work that critiques the medicalization of women's bodies and the limitations placed on them, as well as the lack of agency and autonomy that women had at the time. It is considered an important work in the feminist literary canon. The story is also a portrayal of the power of imagination and the human spirit, and it's a quick read, which can be finished in a few hours, probably in less than an hour. It is still widely read and taught today, and it's a powerful and thought-provoking work that continues to resonate with readers and is widely considered a classic of American literature. So, these are some of the classic short novellas that will not take you more than a day to complete, in some cases less than an hour, but it's important to keep in mind that everyone's reading speed varies, and it depends on how interested you are in the story, how experienced you are reading in general, and how much time you can spare for reading. But I hope you have fun.